Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the next topic and function, parameter passing techniques. There are two ways of passing parameters to functions. One is called by value or otherwise called pass by value. Another one is called by reference or otherwise pass by reference. First, we will discuss the first parameter passing technique that is called by value. In called by value technique, the data values are passed from calling function to the called function. So, here if you are considering in the sense, we already know in main function, we will implement a function call. That is a calling function will be placed in main function. That is add of, since it passes the parameter, we have to add the parameter a comma b. Okay. So, this is the main function. And the user defined function, if you are considering in the sense, void add of int a comma int b. So, this is the function header in function definition. Okay. So, here this is nothing but a function call and the parameters used in function call or the parameters placed in the calling function is nothing but the actual parameter. So, this is actual parameter. Okay. and the parameters placed in the function header or function definition is called the formal parameter. So, these parameters are nothing but the formal parameters. Okay. So, these concepts already we know. So, here the data values are passed from calling function to the called function. So, this is the calling function and this is nothing but the called function. Okay. So, here the data parameters will be passed from calling function to the called function. This is nothing but called by value. So, here directly we are passing a value or sending the values from calling function to the called function. Internally, the actual parameter sends value to the formal parameter. This is nothing but called by value. Okay. So, here the value of actual parameter that is what is the value of A and what is the value of B that will be sent to the formal parameters. So, this value of A will be sent to this A and this value of B will be sent to formal parameter this B. Okay. So, the value of actual parameter is passed to the formal parameter that is called by value sending the value. Okay. So, here copy of data is created and copied in local variables that is formal parameters. If you are considering here in actual parameter, this variable A will hold a value and that will be stored in a memory location. Here also B will hold a value and that will be stored in a memory location. But when it is sending the value to the formal parameter, that is a copy of value will be sent to the formal parameter. Okay. So, here a copy will be created. So, here the formal parameter will allocate a memory location to store the value of A. Similarly, to store the value of B, the formal parameter will allocate a memory location. So, here actual parameter values will be stored in different memory location and formal parameter values will be stored in different memory location. There is no way these two values are connected. Only the actual parameter sends the value to the formal parameter and formal parameter gets it and stores it in different memory location. Okay. So, here the formal parameter contains only a copy of the actual parameter. So, Keep in mind, actual parameter stores the value of A and B in different memory location. Okay. And formal parameter stores the value of A and B in different memory location. No way these two memory locations are same. Okay. These two memory locations are different. Okay. A copy of actual parameter will be stored in different memory location of formal parameter. Okay. That is the meaning. So, Whatever the manipulation we are doing in formal parameter, since formal parameter stores the value in different memory location, whatever the manipulation you are doing, that does not affect the actual parameter values since the actual parameter values is stored in different memory location. Okay. 
So only a copy of the value is sent to formal parameter. So formal parameter, whatever the changes we are doing, that does not affect actual parameter values. The original value of actual parameter will be same. It will be retained. Okay. So the original data in the calling function, that is nothing but the actual parameter or safe and unchanged. So here logic is actual parameter sends a copy of a value to the formal parameter and the formal parameter will allocate a separate memory location to store the copy of actual parameter values that is value of a and value of b okay so it got the values and stored in different memory location so whatever the changes the formal parameter is doing whatever it is manipulating it does not affect the actual parameter values since it is stored in different memory location. Okay. So, here the original data of actual parameter will be same only. After function completes its execution, if you are going and checking this actual parameter values, it will retain the original value only. Whatever the changes we are doing here, that does not affect the actual parameter values. So, this is nothing but called by value technique. This is a most important parameter passing technique in C. Okay, it is a preferred parameter passing technique since passing the value protects the data. Okay, original data of actual parameter, it will protect it. It does not allow to change it. So, this is the concept of call by value technique. Next, we will discuss the technique call by value with one example. So, here, this is the program to add two numbers. That is addition example. And here, this is the function declaration and this is nothing but the function call or the calling function. And here, this is the function header of function definition. And here, this A and B are nothing but the actual parameters. Okay. And this X and Y are nothing but the formal parameters. Okay. So, here if you are considering we are entering two values A and B and the value of A and B are nothing but the actual parameter values and the actual parameter will send the values to the formal parameter. So, what is the value stored with the memory location of A? That will be created as a copy and the copy will be sent to the variable X. Similarly, a copy of value B will be sent to Y. Okay. So, here if you are considering A and B, if you are considering in the sense the value A, for example, A value is 10 and B value is 20 in the sense, it will be stored in a different memory location. For example, if this is 1000 and this is 1002 in the sense, this is the memory location of A and this is the memory location of B. In the memory location of A, value 10 will be stored. In the memory location of B, value 20 will be stored. This is the actual parameter values. A copy of these actual parameter values will be sent to the formal parameter X and Y. So, here for X and Y, a separate memory location will be created. This is, a, for example, 2000 in the sense. This is 2002 in the sense. A copy. So, here the value 10 will be copied to the memory location of x that is 2000 and the value 20 will be copied to the memory location of y. So, here if you are considering the actual parameter value will be stored in different memory location and the formal parameter values will be stored in different memory location. Just it is actual parameter is sending a copy to the formal parameter that is the meaning. But the actual parameter values and the formal parameter values will be stored in different memory location. So, now here what it will happen? Sum is equal to the x plus y. So, x value is 10 plus y value is 20 and this will be added. Now, this is 30 and it will return the sum. And this sum, if it returns in the sense, here the function will carry the value 30 and that will be printed in the output screen. So, this is nothing but called by value that is actual parameter is sending a copy of the data to the formal parameters. Okay. And actual parameter memory location is different. Formal parameter memory locations are different. 
whatever the manipulations we are doing in formal parameter, that will not affect the action parameter values. It will retime the original data of actual parameters. So, this is nothing but call by value technique. So, the advantage of call by value technique is it makes the function more self confined since it does not affect the actual parameter values, that is the actual values, it makes the function more self confined and protects the actual parameter values against the accidental changes in formal parameter. Okay. So, this is a default method in many programming languages like C, C++ and all. So, this is nothing but call by value technique. Thank you for watching this video. 